Uh, this is part two of the video of the new to me Hartz Diesel, the new project that I just got last night. My first video just showed you the engine as I received it and now I'm showing you where I am so far with it, right? I've been almost completely finished it to the point as far as this assembly, as far as I'm going. I'm cleaning out here. There's some dirt in here I need to clean out. There's dirt around the, um, this area here where the cylinder goes. Air, air flows up through here. It goes in through here. There's a fan on the back of the um, flywheel. Blows it up through here. It goes up alongside the cylinder. The cylinder and the head, right? There's the cylinder. Here's the head. Critical parts that um, I found wrong problems. One valve was missing the retainers. The valve didn't drop. What happened was um, someone took this engine apart and removed the head gasket and the two clips off of that valve. So the engine wasn't running and dropped, you know, what you call dropped a valve and bent it and mashed itself up. That's not what happened. Someone took some parts out of it. So I have to find two valve locks for this valve, right? I even have a spring, but there's no locks, okay? The cylinder is very good. There was minor rust in there, so I'm gonna clean that up, everything up nice, and I plan on painting her. Um, just a few little, for those not familiar with hats. This series, which is E7 to 1, 7 to 5, 7 to 9, 7 to 5. Um, those, that series, right? I think there's a 7, 8, a 6 as well. How these work? Okay. These are the cam followers here, right? Which will replace lifters. Here they are. The cam fits here. It's right on the cam. The push rod fits in the end here where my finger is, which goes up through here, through the top there, right? Um, that's how that works. Uh, in the bottom, it's an access port, there it is, four bolts hold this little cover in, it's a big cover, here it is, fits in there with o-ring, o-ring seal, four bolts hold it up, that's how you get at the uh, connecting rod and the weights, you know the weights on the crankshaft, counterweights, so what I found when I took it apart, the counterweights were resting in water, see, so I needed to do some cleaning on both of them. Uh, that's minor. The pump is the injection pump here. This is stuck, but I freed up countless injection pumps, so I'm pretty certain I'll get that one freed up too. Injector, probably gonna need a nozzle and some cleaning. And as I said earlier, the first video, I'm missing a banjo board from here for the fuel leak off. I'll get that sorted too. Um, the hats, these engines, no oil pump, so there's a hollow dipper on the end of the connecting rod there. So as the, as the rod, you know, goes through its motions, it's dipping up oil, which comes up through the lower rod bearing and oil the connecting rod journal. So, and then the, the main bearings on the crank are roller bearings, so there's no need for an oil pump, which is very good. Um, the cam, some people have heard about these engines having a four to one reduction right off the cam and they don't understand what's going on. So here, let me give you a quick explanation, okay? Here's your crankshaft gear, okay? Pinion, pinion for the crank. It turns the cam, okay? Here's the cam, massive cam, right? Ah, uh, okay. This gear is one fourth the size of this one. This has quarter the teeth as this. Whereas on a regular four cycle engine, this one would be half the size of that. So the cam would be spinning at half the speed of the crank. On the hats, the crank gear is four times bigger than the cam gear. 
So the cam has it turned four times. For the, the crank turns four times for the cam to turn one time, right? So how that works, you have two intake lobes. Here they are. And there's two exhaust lobes right behind it. They're set 180 degrees apart. Right? That's how it works. Good, good setup. Um, how I operate these engines. The engine can be started from here. You have a hand starter can go in there, right? This protrudes out through the front cover here. See? You have a hand starter. You can start it from here and take power from the crankshaft. But for my uses, if I bolt a flange here with a shaft on it, and see it's made for that, it's got, it's got the four topped bolt holes already. You get four to one reduction right there. And obviously it's not a weak cam shaft, that's a big massive cam, you know? And look at how short it is, there's no chance of breaking that. Right? See the size of that bearing. That's huge. This one is in the back. That's also very big compared to say a Yanmar or something, you know? So um very good engines and that's where I am. My next step now, I'm gonna pressure wash the entire thing inside and out, clean up all the parts, I'm gonna do some painting and put her back together. I do have a fuel tank that can work on it because I had an extra tank from uh, when I was, you know, my other engines, because I have three more of these engines, right? Uh, so that's basically where we are, you know, a lot of cleaning, minor amount of parts replacement, maybe, maybe piston rings, I haven't checked the gap on them yet or whatever but I got some that I can use if I need them piston is in good shape rings were a bit seized at first but I got them freed up so all in all everything looks good uh, so that's part two there now next step will be um, part three and we should have some paint on this and have it at least partly assembled okay take care